Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover what repeating decimals are and how they happen. Now, repeating decimals are just decimals that repeat without ever ending, so they go on forever. Now, this can be one digit that repeats, so for example, a repeating six, or it can be a group of digits that repeats. So maybe one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and those digits repeat without ever ending. Repeating decimals have a repeating pattern, whether it's one digit or multiple digits. Now we get repeating decimals when we divide and never get a clean cut zero as we go through our division process. The pattern just continues on forever and the division never ends. Repeating decimals can happen when we have a division problem, like number one, or when we are converting a fraction to a decimal like number two. And when we convert a fraction to a decimal, we divide. So in that case, repeating decimals come from division as well. Let's jump into our examples, starting with number one, where we have 14 divided by nine. So let's set this problem up. 14 divided by nine. And we'll go through our process. So 14 divided by nine, how many whole groups of nine out of 14? Well, one. One times nine is nine. Subtract, we get five. Now we want to keep this in decimal form, so we need to continue on with our division process. The goal is to get a clean cut zero here, and that's when our decimal or answer will terminate. But in the case of this problem, it's going to be a repeating decimal. So let's look for a pattern here. Now, since we want this in decimal form, we need to place our decimal after the whole number, so after the 14, and bring it straight up into our answer. Once we do that, we can extend with placeholder zeros here. These do not change the value of the problem. This is equivalent to 14 still. Now we can bring that zero down and we have 50 divided by nine. So how many whole groups of nine out of 50? Well, five, that gets us to 45. Multiply five times nine, 45. Subtract, we get five, so we need to continue on. So we can use another zero, bring that down and we have 50 divided by nine again. So how many whole groups of nine out of 50? Well, five. Five times nine is 45. Subtract, we get five, and you're probably seeing a pattern, so we can use another zero. Let me extend this bar here. Bring that zero down. And we have 50 divided by nine again, which is five. Five times nine, 45. Subtract, we get five. We can use another zero. And that pattern is going to continue on forever. So we get one and then repeating fives that go on forever. That pattern will just continue. So we can express our answer as one and then five repeating. So what we can do, we can put this in bar notation is what it's called. We put a bar above that five and that shows that the five repeats. So our answer, one, and five repeating. Let's do another example and move on to number two where we have three elevenths. So we're going to take that fraction and convert it to a decimal. We do that by using division. So we do three divided by 11. Let's write that out and go through the process. So three divided by 11. And we start our process by seeing how many whole groups of 11 we can pull out of three. Well, we can't do that, so let's put a zero there. Now, in order to continue on and put this in decimal form, we need to place our decimal after the whole number and bring it straight up into our answer. Now, we can use a placeholder zero to keep going, and we have 30 divided by 11. So how many whole groups of 11 out of 30? Well, two. Two times 11, 22. Subtract, we get eight. Remember, we want to look for a clean cut zero. That's when we know that the decimal is going to terminate or end. We have an eight here, so we need to continue on 
Let's put another zero that we can bring down. So now we have 80 divided by 11. So how many whole groups of 11 out of 80? Well, seven, that gets us to 77. Let me extend this here. Seven times 11 is 77. Subtract, we get three. Let's use another zero, bring that down. So we have 30 divided by 11. How many whole groups of 11 out of 30? Well, two. Two times 11 is 22. Subtract, we get eight. And you may start to notice a pattern here as we extend with another zero. So 80 divided by 11, well, that's seven. That gets us to 77. Seven times 11, 77. Subtract, we get three again. We can extend with another zero. And that pattern is going to continue on forever. So we get 0.27 repeating here. And we can express this by writing zero decimal, and then the digits that repeat, well, we have two, seven, two, seven, two, seven, so the two and seven repeat, so we put a bar above the two and the seven. If we have a group of digits that are repeating, make sure you put the bar above that group that repeats. So 0 0.27 repeating. So you can see that as we go through our long division process, we have a pattern that continues on forever, and that gives us our repeating decimals. So hopefully that gives you a better understanding of repeating decimals and how we get repeating decimals. So I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.